Hey, so it's been a while since I worked on this shed. And uh, the reason for that is it's been like awfully hot. I mean, it's been a hot summer. Like every time I wanted to work on it, it was too hot and I would just decide to do something else. So I finally got the shelves done. I'm going to go ahead and show you the footage. And most of it is just uh, time lapse. Nothing too fancy. So here we go.
So this is it for this video. Uh, so the, sh the shelves are done as you can see. And now the next step for the shed is pretty much small finishing touches. Like I might want to add another electrical outlet. I might want to do some automation stuff like for the solar system so that if the battery gets too low, it'll shut off the inverter, that kind of thing. I might do that next year, not sure yet. I still want to get some solar panels put on the roof because right now I just have like a 60 watt folding panel on the ground, but it doesn't get enough sun. So every now and then I have to go in there and charge the battery with a charger. So it kind of defeats the whole purpose of having solar if you have to use the hydro from the house anyway. So hopefully with the panels on the roof, that won't be an issue. The only problem, it's actually really hard to find solar panels around here. It's Nobody really sells them. I found a couple of places down south that do, but they want like 200 bucks for shipping. So it's, it's just crazy. So I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might just buy the cells from China and then build my own panels. But then they wouldn't be as solid as like something that you buy. So they actually need like a very special kind of glass so when there's like hail and stuff it won't crack so I'm not sure but maybe the glass place here can make that kind of glass too I don't know so I'm hoping to buy panels that are pre-made if not I might just build my own I'm looking at going like maybe 200 watt maybe 400 watt I'm taking like 400 watt panels right across the roof so to me that'll be perfect I could put two of them in series well in groups of two in series and then put those groups in parallel so that'll give me 24 volt nominal voltage, which is a little bit higher. But then when it's cloudy, I might get enough to still charge the battery because it might go down to say 13 or 14 volts. So that's what I'm hoping. Because right now it's facing west, so it's not optimal for solar. But in my yard, it's the only thing I can really do because there's a tree. So it blocks all the light from the sun. So anyway, so that's it for today. I'm not sure what my next video is going to be about. I'm probably going to, probably won't be the shed because I'm pretty much done with that now. The rest of the stuff is all minor stuff. I mean, if I do install the solar panels this year, I might do a video on that. And yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy that and bye.